Okay, so let's start our first case scenario or case study. This is Aspen Plus. So once you open Aspen Plus, maybe you start here, Aspen Plus, click here. And this will be the first thing you see. Or if you start with at home, just create a new one. So this is the new one. If you have an existing one, you can click here, open. And right now we know that this will be a new simulation. So let me give you a very fast overview. We're going to be checking most of these parts right here. This is the tab section. So we have four main tabs in the physical property environment. So this is an environment. You will see that whenever you change off these tabs right here, let's say that these are the main environments. So the most common ones are physical property environment and simulation environment. Actually, simulation environment is the one that you're going to spend more time working on. Okay, so this is the physical property environment. We have these little tabs, you can ignore them. Most important ones are here. And as you can see, there are several menus and buttons. Most of them are forms that are inside this part right here. So this is the important part to fill up. So maybe if you click here in methods, you can see this is method. If you want to change the setup, you will see that this is the setup. If you want to add components, you will see that this is the component list and so on. You will see that maybe you click one button and eventually it relates to something right here. So let's go back to our simulation and let's start adding our component list. So it's very important to start with the components because the components need to be specified in order for us then calculate the method. What's the method? Nothing more than the physical properties that we are going to be calculating. What models are we going to use? Uh, are we going to consider real gas, ideal gas, or maybe ideal solution or real solution, interaction between each other, viscosity, density, specific heat, mixing rules, all the things that you know from thermodynamics, transport phenomena are going to be included here. So let's start adding our components. Hydrogen gas, then you can, there are several ways you can add methane. So let me show you, I, one of my favorites is to take C1, which states Aspen will understand that this is the hydrocarbon with one carbon, that is methane. So C1 in real life or in chemistry does not exist. Okay, but we can also click here, find if you have a more complex, let's say if you were to add ethylene, if you click C2, actually let's add ethane. C2 will be ethane. But let's say that you want to add ethylene. Well, you cannot do that. You will need to go here and find type ethylene. Depending on the computer, it takes time. If you have a very slow computer, it takes a little bit longer. If you have a very fast computer, it's very fast. So then you've got to search. And please note that there is always one unique alias for each component. Even though you may have similar names or maybe even compounds right here, you may have different comp component name or component ID names, but aliases will be changing. So now we need to add also propane, hexane, so C6, C7, and C8. So you can see these have one or literally one as added or addendum. This means that hexane, probably you know, can have several weights or several isomers. So this one states that this is n hexane. So if you were to find isohexane or uh, sec or other all other isomers, they will be changing. Okay. So right now this is our component list. You want to remove one, you can click here, right click delete row. If you want, maybe you you were adding this by order and you missed maybe, let's say that we missed C4, then you add it here. Let's delete it. Or you can simply reorder them. I think it's easier just to add and remove. Okay, so all these other buttons are not required for now, even though you know that they are useful. Let's go directly here. Our model or method requires a specification of the physical properties. So this is 
I I always select all, so it includes all of the species. But if you're talking about maybe water system, it might be interesting to go here. Water. If you're talking about petrochemical or oil and gas, go here. If you're working with sort of hydrofluoric acid models, well, it will, will be most interesting to go directly here. But right now we're going to be using chemical or maybe even try petrochemical. So let's choose petrochemical. You can select this or go directly to the method name. I think it's much more convenient and select it. So we're going to be using the Peng Robinson side of coal. Okay, so no need to state Henry components, all these. This is if you want to specifically change this. So let's say that you wanted to change something. I'm not going to do it, but you can change. For instance, if you want to change the liquid gamma, which is the coefficient or fugacity coefficient in liquid phase, or also how we are going to be calculating certain specific data. If you want to add the pointing correction and so on. I'm not going to move this. The main idea of Aspen is, of course, to do it the most without our input. So you select Pen Robinson and assume Aspen Plus will be modeling this correctly. Now you can see when we click here, method name parameters are now a new variable because there will be binary interaction between all the species. You probably know there is always interaction between species, hydrogen with methane, methane with ethane, hexane with ethane, and so on. So let's run this. And you will see that now it's in blue check mark. Why? Because Aspen Plus has calculated and generated all our physical properties. Okay, so we are done. Whenever you're talking about a simulation, you can always go directly to component list, add at least one component and add at least one method. That will be the least requirement in order to go to the simulation environment. Now we are in the simulation environment. Now let me show you that flow sheet here is in red because we gotta add things to this flow sheet. Let me show you very rapidly. We have several tabs right here and uh, it's much more useful in the simulation environment, especially this one right here. And when you add unit operations, they open new ones. So I cannot say with certainty that you're not going to be using plenty of these actually. There are plenty of other menus that you could be using here. So please consider whenever you have doubt, go here, click home and you will be like refreshed. You got several uh, folders right here in the navigation pane panel that they will be maybe be, let's say, let's add our first flow. So go here and you will see that this is the flow sheet right here and we just added a stream so in order to add a stream click once so it starts so you can reconnect if you have a unit operation up here you can move it if you don't have anything like that you just click again so we got stream number one let's let's call this feed so there are several ways you can add this double click is the easiest one or right click change name it's other one or if you go directly to the folder on the streams you can see here now we have a red stream because it is not fully defined you can change it here rename or go directly in the input and rename it again so of course those are fancy ways i prefer double clicking here and it's much easier okay so what do we need according to our simulation so we gotta we gotta try to build this so let me start by doing the flash 